Hello, this is Camino. It's November 4th, 2021, and you know what this means? The information embargo on Intel's Alder Lake CPUs, Z690 chipsets, and DDR5 RAM is lifted today. We're glad to provide the review of the Intel Core i9-12900T, Asus ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi, and the Micron DDR5 4800 32GB RAM. We will start by briefly describing the reviewed products to satisfy those of you who want the overall picture. Next, we will turn on the hardware on the rig with the RTX 3090, A6000, and A100 GPUs, and we'll test its performance in various software and we'll run some benchmarks. And only then, we will assemble the Camino Grando RMS and see how this hardware will perform with liquid cooling. For your convenience, we've added timestamps below, so feel free to skip to the part most interesting to you, and we'll be glad if you'll watch the whole video, as it gets us a higher ranking on YouTube. Intel Core i9-12900T and i9-12900K CPUs. Not so long ago, Intel presented a new 12th generation of Intel Core processors codenamed Alder Lake S. One of the special features of the new CPU generation is hybrid technology, which allows the combining of two absolutely different types of cores in one. All Alder Lake CPUs are built to combine powerful high-performance, performance cores, P-cores, Golden Cove architecture, and energy-efficient, efficient cores, E-cores, Gracemont architecture. Intel calls the performance cores their highest efficiency cores ever, while the E-cores are designed to deliver the best performance in multi-threaded workloads. With Intel Thread Director technology, it is viable to make two types of cores work together efficiently, allowing the operating system to dispatch the task to the correct core at the right time. The top of the new generation processors is the 16-core Intel Core i9-12900K desktop, which has 8 E and P cores, providing 24 computing threads, but only the P cores support hyper-threading. Stated clock frequencies of E-cores are 2.4 GHz base and 3.9 GHz turbo. On the other hand, P-cores have 3.2 GHz and 5.1 GHz corresponding base and turbo frequencies. However, in the Turbo Boost Max 3.0 mode, the maximum frequency is declared at 5.2 GHz. The CPU also has 30 MB of L3 cache and a total of 40 MB of L2 cache. As Intel states, compared to its predecessor, the Core i9-11900K, the new Core i9-12900K offers up to 36% higher photo editing speed, up to 32% faster video editing speed, up to 37% speed increase in 3D modeling, up to 100% faster multi-frame rendering. All 12th Gen Intel Core processors support two types of RAM, the current DDR4 and the next generation DDR5. Alder Lake is the first processor on the market to support next-generation memory, which provides significant bandwidth gains, 4800 MHz effective in baseline specification. In addition, Intel's new products are also the first in the industry to receive support for the PCIe 5.0 standard, 16 lanes. Fresh chips also have four additional PCIe 4.0 lanes. For the flagship Core i9, TDP is 241 watts. For the Core i7, 190 watts, and for the Core i5, 150 watts. Alder Lake desktop processors are made for the new LGA 1700 processor socket, which is presented on the motherboards with Intel's new 600 series chipset. At the moment, the company has presented only the flagship Z690 chipset. Alder Lake CPUs have a support of DDR4 RAM, but what is more important, the pricey but fast DDR5 RAM modules are also supported. The Intel Z690 chipset adds new PCIe 4.0 lanes. The new CPUs have a better PCIe Gen 4 link to the chipset, which doubles the bandwidth to 15.76 GB per second, compared to 7.88 GB per second on the X570 and 7.70 GB per second on the Z590. This makes things better when it comes to the integrated Wi-Fi 6E and 2.5G Ethernet to coexist with other features such as the 10G Ethernet and 20G USB ports. 
Intel's Z690 is the first chipset to support DDR5 as well as DDR4. While the controller supports both, it is worth mentioning that you cannot run both at the same time. With DDR5, internal bottlenecks have been removed and the power management has been moved to the DIMs from the motherboard. DDR5 RAM What's the difference between DDR4 and DDR5 and why go for the latter? Bandwidth. The more memory bandwidth, the better. And DDR5 memory provides a 50% bandwidth increase compared to DDR4, up to 4.8 gigabytes at the beginning, and it will scale up to a data rate of 8.4 gigabytes. Improved power consumption. DDR5's operating voltage is reduced from 1.2 volts to 1.1 volt. Also, CA signaling is changed from SSTL to PODL, which burns no static power when the pins are parked in the high state. With DDR5 DIMMs, power management is done at the module instead of the motherboard. DDR5 DIMMs have a 12 volt PMIC on DIMM, allowing for a better system power loading management. The PMIC distributes the 1.1 volt VDD supply, providing better signal integrity and noise reduction. The DDR5 versus DDR4 channel architecture. DDR4 DIMMs have a 72-bit bus, comprising 64 data bits plus 8 ECC bits. On DDR5, each DIMM has two channels, each 40 bits wide. 32 data bits with 8 ECC bits. The data width is the same, 64 bits total, but having two smaller independent channels improves memory access efficiency. This makes DDR5 RAM not only faster, but more efficient. Longer burst length. DDR4 burst chop length is 4 and burst length is 8. For DDR5, burst chop and burst length are extended to 8 and 16 to increase burst payload. Burst length of 16, BL16, allows a single burst to access 64 bytes of data, which is the typical CPU cache line size. It can do this using only one of the two independent channels. This gives a significant improvement in concurrency and with two channels, greater memory efficiency. DDR5 supports higher capacity DRAM. DDR5 modules support densities of up to 64GB DRAMs in a single die package. DDR4 maxes out at 16GB DRAM in a single die package SDB. DDR5 supports features like on-die ECC, error transparency mode, post-package repair, and read and write CRC modes to support higher capacity DRAMs. And while DDR4 DIMMs can have capacities of up to 64 gigabytes using SDP, DDR5 SDP-based DIMMs raise the bar to 256 gigabytes. Asus ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi empowers creators of all levels by maximizing the performance of 12th gen Intel core processors with powerful hardware and software, efficient cooling, and lightning-fast connectivity, including Thunderbolt 4, onboard 10 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet plus Wi-Fi 6E. Let's take a look at it. CPU. With an LGA1700 CPU socket at its heart, the tailored CPU power delivery and support for the latest high-performance memory, ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi easily handles the demands of the latest 12th gen Intel Core processors. It features an intelligent VRM design that's rated for 70 amps, plus carefully selected components and memory layout optimizations for multi-threaded tasks such as 3D animation, video rendering, and software compiling. PCIe 5.0 The 12th generation Intel processors bring PCIe 5.0 support to the market. PCIe 5.0 offers twice the data transfer speed of PCIe 4.0, making it robust enough to handle new data-heavy tasks. PCIe 5.0 also brings other benefits such as improved signal integrity, backward-compatible CEM connectors for adding cards, and backward compatibility with previous PCIe versions. And the ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi has two of the PCIe 5.0 slots and one PCIe 3.0 slot. DDR5 ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi enhances DDR5 performance by providing overclocking options for not only high-speed kits, but even entry-level memory modules that have a locked power management IC, PMIC. 
A dedicated circuit on the motherboard safely circumvents DDR5 memory PMIC restrictions, allowing you to step past the default 1.1 volt limit and push frequency and timings to the max. Ordinarily, a restricted PMIC that has been unlocked requires the system to be fully power cycled each time memory voltage is adjusted. ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi leverages onboard hardware and firmware to cleverly work around this irksome limitation, enabling voltage adjustments to be applied through the same soft system reset process employed for previous generations of DDR memory. Ports A comprehensive array of I.O. ports including two Thunderbolt 4 ports plus 10 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports enables quick data transfers and extensive storage options with flexible, hassle-free connectivity. Networking Onboard Wi-Fi 6E technology takes advantage of the newly available radio spectrum in the 6 GHz band, providing up to three times the bandwidth of the 5 GHz band in dense wireless environments. Onboard 10 Gigabit Ethernet provides up to 10 times the bandwidth of standard Gigabit Ethernet, streaming uncompressed 4K UHD videos. Performing system backups or transferring large files is now faster than ever. M2 Storage Four PCIe 4.0 M2 slots support up to 22110 and provide NVMe SSD RAID support for an impressive boost. Create a RAID configuration with up to two PCIe 4.0 storage devices to enjoy the fastest data transfer speeds. Heatsinks Two VRM heatsinks are placed above the MOSFETs and chokes to further increase surface area for heat dissipation. Three dedicated heatsinks keep the four M2 SSDs at the optimal operating temperature for consistent performance and reliability. A dedicated chipset heatsink draws heat away to help ensure that temperatures stay within an optimal range. Board's audio features Realtek S1220A codec. The I.O. panel has a very good selection of ports, such as two DisplayPort inputs, one HDMI port, one Marvel Action 10 gigabit Ethernet port, one Intel 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, six USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, two USB Type-C from Thunderbolt 4 ports, and six audio ports for eight-channel audio. We've assembled a liquid cooled rig and are ready to start with the benchmarks. First, we're testing the CPU. The Intel i9-12900T CPU. Here is Prime95 running in a custom mode to check that the system is stable. After one hour of Prime95, the system showed no errors and is now ready to be tested with multiple benchmarks. Using the CPU-Z integrated benchmark, we will test multi-thread and single-thread performance. The benchmark showed a score of 729.6 points in single-thread mode and 9,165.4 points in multi-thread mode. Using the Symbench R23 test, we performed a single-core and multi-core rendering benchmark. We achieved 22,449 points in multi-core mode and 1,743 points in single-thread. As another rendering test, we used the Corona 1.3 benchmark render and obtained a render time of 1 minute and 13 seconds and 6,625,470 rays per second. The Monero Random X Mining benchmark is supposed to be used in the CPUs. Why don't we check it? The test showed 541.937 hashes per second, which is a very humble result. Passmark benchmarking software showed a CPU score of 31,886. Now let's test the memory. The Micron DDR5 4800 RAM, two modules, 15 gigabytes each. Memory mark. The Passmark memory test showed a RAM score of 3,324 without overclocking. For GPUs, we had two powerful 3090s and an A100 monster. Let's start with the 3090s first. Two RTX 3090 GPUs. To test the GPU performance of the platform, Octane Bench was used to heat up two 3090 config. It showed a result of 1,282.71. And now let's see how the A100 behaves. One of the most powerful GPUs at the moment is the NVIDIA A100, and we are able to test it on this platform also using Octane Bench. Since the A100 does not have any graphics outputs, an additional GPU is required. 
Our attempts to use an integrated GPU failed due to an absence of the output signal and integrated GPU selection was not accessible in the BIOS menu. If you do get the chance to try it out, please let us know. We've run the AI benchmark 0.12 with NVIDIA CUDA version 11.5 and TensorFlow 2.6 on Windows 10, and we've gotten pretty stunning results. A device inference score of 32,292, device training score of 31,175, and device AI score of 63,467. So here's the thing, folks. You can run A100 GPUs on Windows 10 on a platform with the Asus ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi, Intel Core i9-12900 CPU, and DDR5 RAM. This is awesome news for those of you who are considering using the A100 GPU on a compact workstation, such as, for example, the Camino Grando RMS. Camino Grando RMS. And here's the awesome news from Camino. Our Grando RMS platform comes ready for the new Intel Core i9-12900K and the Z690 chipset, Asus ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi and DDR5. It will even be able to handle the new PCIe 5.0 GPUs when they'll come out. And if you haven't viewed our Grando RML and Grando RMS videos, you can click here and here. That's it for today, folks. And if you loved the review, give this video a nice juicy like, click the subscribe button below and tickle that notification bell next to it to stay up to date with Camino's news and reviews. Check the video description for the links to our other videos as well as our website. Choose Camino for your best performance systems.